Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy unboxing, but I also wanted to show you the new turtle jelly bath bombs that are available on the Lush UK site. So these were at the last Lush Summit, but unless you actually went to the summit and purchased them, you could only buy them from someone who went there or, um, you yourself went there, but they are available now on the Lush UK site. I am not 100% certain when and if we are going to see them in US shops. I'm thinking we probably will, maybe at least one of them. I did take notice that Lush is getting rid of some of their jelly bombs, so I'm thinking maybe they will replace those with one of the turtle jelly bombs. So they did change the name of this big one here. This used to be called Mama Turtle when they showed it at the summit. However, now it's called Turtle Immersion and this is a jelly bath bomb. So it's gonna give you that jelly slime kind of consistency that the jelly bath bombs are known for. And they also have a smaller counterpart and this one is just the turtle jelly bath bombs. So these are both jelly bath bombs, but you can see the size difference. This one here is much larger than this. They do smell exactly the same. Um, if you're familiar with the Geofizz scent, that is what they smell like. To me, I think the Geofizz smells like Christmas trees. It's a very pine uh, kind of smell. There's also cedar wood in there and sandalwood as well. But I smell like straight up Christmas trees when I smell a uh, Geofizz. So like whenever I smell it, it just, it reminds me of Christmas time. So if you, you know, are familiar with that scent and like that Geofizz smell, then you're gonna love these for the smell alone. I'm curious to see how they are as far as the, you know, them being jelly bombs because some Lush jelly bombs performed pretty well, others not so much. So I'm curious to see how these will. Um, I'm probably gonna do a demo of both. However, I think I'm gonna do the big one first. So um, I just wanted to show them to you guys to let you know I do have them and there will be demos coming of those. So I hope you're excited for that. And like I said, they are available right now on the Lush UK site if you are interested in purchasing one. So next I am gonna be doing my unboxing of the June Ipsy bag. So um, with Ipsy, you can look at your spoilers if you want to. Me personally, I like the surprise, though sometimes I do sneak a peek. So I did sneak a peek at this one, so it's not completely, um, you know, a surprise as to what I'm getting. But with the spoilers, like, if it's something specific, like, whether it's a nail polish or something, like, it'll show you, like, one of the shades you possibly could get. So there's still a little element of surprise there, but not entirely. So let me just pull everything out here. I think I did cash in a few Ipsy points. So I do have one item that isn't actually from my my bag so I will show you that um at the end here but it looks like I do have two products that were not in the bag because they couldn't fit it looks like two face masks so the first one is called natural tox apple mask sheet by the Sam. it's definitely like a um Japanese brand and I love face masks I love I love sheet masks, regular like mud masks, like any kind of face masks I just really like. So, and that's something that I have liked. So like when my Ipsy bag is made up, they know I like face masks, so I sometimes get them. And then this is by the same brand, but it is the Natural Acai Berry Mask Sheet. So got two different face masks. Here is the um, Ipsy bag for this month and it's just kind of like a ombre effect of yellow shades it's very bright and the little zipper pull here is heart shaped it says ipsy and then the back is just one straight shade of yellow so i'm not the biggest yellow fan but it feels nice and for the most part, like right now, I don't have a whole ton of Ipsy bags, so like I don't feel like I have 
too, too many right now, but I imagine after you've been subscribed for a really long time, it gets to be a little crazy. I know when I go to like yard sales and thrift stores, there's, you will always see Ipsy bags because you know, you get one every time you get an Ipsy bag. So you just kind of accumulate, accumulate them a lot. So here is what the inside of my bag looks like. So we're just gonna go through um, the things that were mine. And this month's theme is flying colors. So that must be kind of like for pride month possibly because we have, you know, um, the rainbow effect here on the postcard. Yep, it is. It says that Ipsy Pride Month is about so much more than sexuality. It's about unique beauty, self-expression, and inspiring everyone to be completely themselves without fear of judgment. So, and then it goes on. There's like a, a pretty long um, thing to read. Um, sometimes we just get like a postcard and it'll have like a picture and that's pretty much it. But this one actually has stuff that we can read on it. So let's see, the first thing I'm pulling out of here is a K. Voss Macaroon Lip Balm. That sounds absolutely delicious. And this is a potted jar lip balm. Um, I love lip balms, but if I'm to choose, I'd prefer a tube over the jar just because, you know, sometimes I just don't like sticking my finger in there. But if my jar is like with my makeup and I can use a lip, lip brush, it's not as big of a deal. But jars aren't really something I want to throw like in my bag or anything like that to take along with me. But here is what it looks like when you open it up. It just looks clear and like I said, it's macaroon. I'm going to put a little bit on. It is super soft. Very, very soft. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. That feels really good, very moisturizing. And as far as the, well, not necessarily taste because you're not really gonna wanna eat it off your lips, but if you're like me and you sometimes lick your lip balm, um, it's just, it's a very light, light scent. I can't really pinpoint exactly what I smell. Maybe a hint of vanilla, but it's not like a strong smell at all, but it feels really nice. Um, next is a PS Cosmeceutical Infused Nail Lacquer, and it looks like the shade is Raspberry Fizz. Here is the packaging, and I will get it out of the box so we can see it a little better here. And that is like a very nice shade of pink. This is perfect for summer. I definitely could see this on my nails or my toes. It's a very nice pink. What does it mean by infused nail lacquer? Okay, it says it's infused with grapefruit seed extract, which is known for its medicinal uses as an antimicrobial slash antifungal. So that's what it means by infused. I was like, oh, how is nail polish infused with something? But that's what it is. It is grapefruit oil. Did I say that? Grape seed? Grapefruit seed. I'm pretty, I pretty well said that right. <laughs> Okay, next is an estate lip icing. Comes in a box like this. You know, after, like, if I if I look at my spoilers on Ipsy, I usually forget by the time the bag actually comes. So, really, this is a little bit more of a surprise to me because I didn't know, like, I don't remember. This is really gorgeous. Do you see that? It is a very like shimmery lip lip gloss. The shade is called Goody, and it's described as a lip icing. What is a lip icing? It's like a lip gloss, right? Or is this like one of those like? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It has such a nice sweet smell. I'm like looking around for a mirror right here. Let me just use. Is it doing anything? Like, mm, mm, mm hmm So it looks like it gives like a bit of shimmer to the lips, not like insane. It doesn't feel gritty or anything like that. It's not like a chunky kind of glitter. I don't really, I don't think I can detect a whole lot of color or anything like that, but 
it smells awesome so I will definitely use it and the last thing in my bag is a MAC prep and prime skin base so I'm assuming this is primer. I'm not, like, I only have a couple MAC makeup items, so I don't really know the brand too, too well. Um, I'm assuming it's a primer, though. If I am wrong, you guys will have to let me know. Um, I will look it up, though, like, before I use it. But Skin Base sounds like, like a primer to me. So we got that in the bag. And then the last thing, like I said, um, with Ipsy, I know I say it, like, every month, but... Um, when you sign up and you give your feedback afterwards, it's so simple. It's just a click of like, they have different versions of smiley faces. Everything from like the real happy face to like, um, you know, sad face. And you just click on that, like what you felt about each product. You get points, they add up over time, and then you can cash those points in um, to get free products. So I did have some points that I cashed in for this Jersey, Jer I cannot talk today you guys. Um, the Jersey, it's called Jersey Shore Cosmetics and it is in Juicy Strawberry Moisture Rich Hydrating Lip Balm, which looks like this. And oh my gosh, that smells so good. I already have so much stuff on my lips right now, so I'm not going to put it on. But it smells really nice. It definitely has that like fresh kind of strawberry smell. It's not like a fake strawberry smell. So I'm excited for that. This will definitely go in my purse. I'll probably keep my macaroon jar um, on my vanity. So overall, I I liked this month. I think it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I will use absolutely everything. So I love when that happens when I get Ipsy bags and you know, it's all things I would totally use. It makes it so worthwhile because it's so inexpensive to begin with, like for $10, some little beauty surprises each month. And yeah, so I, I like this month. You guys have to let me know down below if you enjoyed your Ipsy bag this month. If you guys are not subscribed to Ipsy and are interested in checking it out, I do have a link down below. Um, and yeah, so also I'm scatterbrained today. Um, also, let me know about the turtle jelly bombs. Have you used one yet before? Did you get one um, from someone who went to the summit so you already used it? How did you like it? How was the jelly aspect? Because, you know, there have been some jelly lush bath bombs that just really weren't all that fantastic. So I'm hoping these perform good. And I do like the Geofizz scent reminds me, like I said, of Christmas. So... If you like those like earthy, piney kind of smells, then you will probably like it for the scent alone. And they're shaped like turtles, which are incredibly cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to keep an eye out for the turtle jelly bath bomb demos. And I will see you guys next time.